Routing out the collection from KNC Key Squid Game series is their newest Black Jacket Tactile Switch. And the material choice for this switch is also very different from looking at the other contenders in the lineup. While the green and red jackets were manufactured by Texier Athlion, the black jackets are manufactured by JWK, and they come with a PA6 nylon on top, a 13mm long pull palm stem, a polymer bottom, a 58 gram triple stage spring, and come lightly factory lubed. There is a bit of housing play, so you can film if you want, it's not totally necessary, but I would recommend that you lube behind the leaf, since we all know that JWK leaves tend to be a bit noisier, and these are no different, so just, just do it. And as someone who primarily uses linear switches, I challenged myself to use these black jackets for a few days in the Fuji 65 with the palm plate as my primary board, and I have a couple things to report. One, I still don't like daily tactiles. I, I'm sorry. Two, there's a noticeable amount of pre-travel before you hit the bump, but the overall tactile action is very smooth, it's not jarring or distracting in any way. Three, the triple stage spring is actually super snappy and definitely feels heavier than 58 grams, and at least for my fingers, it's closer to like 62-ish. And the factory looping is actually quite decent. There's good coverage on the side rail of the stems and the spring. I didn't notice any of my switches having any spring ping, but that could have just been masked by the leaf ping, so who knows. Sound-wise, they do have a unique sound signature. I'm not sure how the polymer bottom is playing a factor in this, but they are definitely on the clackier end of the sound spectrum. I think this is one of the few switches that have almost as loud of a top-out sound as the bottom-out, which I'm pretty sure is due in part to the triple stage spring. And personally, I think these switches would pair really well with a softer plate, as although there's no harsh bottom-out, it does help to combat the subtle leaf ping. But I'll play a few sound tests so you can kind of get an idea. The black jackets will run you about 65 cents a switch, and while this is becoming an ever more congested price point, I would say that if you're looking for a new long pole light tactile, maybe consider giving these a look. They're a decently lubed, snappy, and clackier sounding light tactile, and if only the leaf ping was a bit more sorted from JWK's end, I think that would only help to elevate the overall experience and value proposition from these switches. If you're interested in checking these out, they'll be linked in the description below, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Take care, and have a good one.